and explain that just because you've recently got a divorce doesn't mean you was together the whole time because you could be right. separated for like two, three years. Yeah. Some people are not seeing that as well. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, but, that's, yeah that's, that's definitely true. I mean, even if, like, I mean, somebody mentioned, like, you can mentally be checked out in the state of legally, you have to be divorced, right? I mean, it's always best to legally be divorced before you actually start, you know, having a fulfilled, fulfilled relationship and start planning and things like that. But I will say that's not always the case. Um, and, you know, I always just say, I, bet, I, I hope people, you know, actually, uh, you know, find their person regardless of whenever it is. Um, I, that's why I would say, I would, you never know and you never know who, you never know when, you never know how that person is going to show up for you, right? I always say that. So I always just say be open to those things. Hold on, I got a question in the conference. Right. Biggest takeaway from the show. Um, what was your biggest takeaway from the show, Eric? <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to let my dogs out real quick. Go ahead. I would say my biggest takeaway is listen to your friends or people that have your best interest at heart. Because uh, I would definitely say Carmen – definitely had my best interest at heart and I should have listened to her a lot more than I did and I would not have been in any type of situation. So I know I know a lot of people don't know you know how you guys how you and Carmen are you know are, are as close as you guys are so if you want to explain that to people kind of let them know what's what the deal is how you guys know yeah so Car yeah Carmen and I we uh we did a lot of work together in DC I first met her at this charity event that she was holding for uh um, a celebrity football player. So I donated my food and my time. And then after that, we just became like good friends and chill. Like we're, whenever there was an event, she'd invite me to one or I invite her to my event. So we just became just like cool after that type of situation. And it was just, after that, she always had my back. We check up on each other, mm -hmm. all that. It's just always been like a, a dope ass vibe. And she's always like, always had my back with like any and everything. Right. I will say that, like, I think a lot of people kind of question, like, Carmen, you know, as far as, like, you know, what, you know, <laughs> she, she obviously has been a foodie, right, for everybody. She's, she's been fed by a majority of the men on the show. Um, so that, that's one thing. But the thing is, I think people just don't realize that how, how fucking cool Carmen is, um, how much of a, you know, like, this, just like she has this, this, this aura and demeanor around her when it comes to, like, being around the guys. She is, like, you know, like one of the homies, but she's also, but we, we understand, we respect her as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, and mm -hmm. but she is that. She's always she's always a woman around us. She's not like you know being disrespectful. Or anything Demetrius, like that. what's up, D? You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think a lot of people just don't um, just don't know that a lot about her. But you know, I think eventually they will. I, I think eventually they'll. You know, obviously when things are done, she'll be able to come out and talk about her interviews and things like that. But I mean, I, I think she gets a bad a bad rap from a couple from 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 I would say. The, the audience sometimes. I think they may seem she's coming off as being, you know, someone who's being aggressive or anything like that. But, I mean, she's the type of person. She's a go-getter. She knows what she wants. Um, and the biggest thing for me, when I, the reason why I've always, I've, I, I fuck with her so much is that she's consistent. She is she is who she says she is. Absolutely. She always shows up that way. Right? There is no, there is, I've always said there is no, I don't have to guess what's going on with her. I don't have to find, like, try to figure out what's going on with her. You know what I'm saying? And I like, that's the reason why I think that you know, because she's so confident. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants. She knows how she, how she should be. And she knows how to do it. Unapologetically, like, too. Yeah, and it's like, well, why the fuck should I be sorry? Because you and your feelings. That ain't, got, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's the work that you need to do. And I think people just don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Yo, I got to run. But I try to come go. on real quick. Yeah, yeah man. Well, but you, you, you know that I'm going uh, to be holding some of these very, very soon. So right, man. I'm, gonna well, be, I'm gonna be looking I, for I you. Definitely, I definitely want to invite to some of your some of your uh, some of your cookouts. All right. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna be around a lot more. So you go, you go, you can get the food, get all the right, salmon, the, the lobsters, crab, all that. That's what's up. I appreciate it, bro. All right, man. All Thanks for letting me take some safe. of your space. No, nah, man, this is yours too, man. I'm leaving it wide open, bro. Yes, sir. Right. I'll talk to you later, bro. Later. Later. So yeah, so there you go. That was my boy Eric. Man, um, I was really sad to see him leave. Um, really good dude. I think that uh, the person who you know when he had to leave, I think that that person really probably regrets it even too. That he's a good dude and he had a really good connection. I think it had to be, you know, unfortunately there had to be some shit that had some shit that had to happen. But neither here nor there. It is what it is. Um, any other questions? Anything y'all got got for me? Got seventy seven people on here. That's what's up.
It's my favorite dish. Uh, I don't know. I'm simple, man. I I do my proteins. I do my, car, my carbs and 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 my vegetables. So I like food. So. Mm -hmm. Oh man, let's see. Anybody else on there? Who's on there? What's up, Gabe? What's up, man? Hello from Chicago. How you doing? When's the reunion? The reunion has already been filmed. Already been filmed. Feels feels good. Feels good. Yep. I'm a big person on being being accountable. You know, I think that's been like if you can see. I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure you guys see like a certain divide and certain things, right? There's to me, it's like I, I feel like there's a there is a <clears throat> again. I want to I want to be very clear when I say this. I don't find any find any anything wrong with you know aligning and bridging gaps between people and aligning with other people based off of you know race, sex, or gender, or whatever it may be, right? Um, so I, I, I appreciate what they got going on. Certain people got certain things got going on. I just don't appreciate the reason why that they're doing certain things, right? Um, if you'll see, I was very clear in my, in my, uh, uh, in my deliberation, or excuse me, in my confessional going into, going into the weekend at the getaway. I said I wanted to make sure that the person that I wanted for me would have their actions and their words aligned, right? So if they say they're going to do something, and then they do it, it comes together, and that's done, right? I don't like on the fence type shit. I don't like asking a question. You say yes one day, and you say no the next day, or you said, okay, hey, what's for dinner? Uh, let's do this. And then we, you know, I, I'm okay with those types of changes, but, I mean, I, I want to know who you are from a core standpoint, right? Who, are, who, am I, who am I talking to today? Am I talking to you or are you talking to your representative right now, right? I don't like guessing who I'm talking to in those moments, right? Um, but I think that's where uh, I was able to identify certain things. Shit was happening, and that's what I, I saw certain things. So I'll let you guys be the judge of all those things. When you see it, you know, coming up Friday, please stay, you know, definitely tune in. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, but that's pretty much all I got to say about that part. Uh, I just don't like... I don't like people to switch who they are. I like to know if I wake up one morning, you know, if I talk, it's literally like just going to work and imagine your boss or your coworkers constantly changing their behavior. Why do I have to adjust to your behavior? Why do I have to constantly adjust to how you act? I don't want to do that. I want to know who I'm, who I am dealing with. Not at all times, but at most of the times, right? I know we all have things that happen, but it doesn't mean that you got to be a, be a certain way from a core, from a core standpoint. Yeah. I got some questions in here. Yep, consistency is a huge thing. I like consistency and someone who's able to adapt, right, in certain different situations. Um, but they're always still to the core of who they are. I can't give no names or nothing. Even if I left the show with somebody, I can't tell you that. Say people aren't honest. Yeah. Yeah, and that, like I said, that's the biggest thing for me, is just being accountable. We fuck up every day. I don't know about you, but I've, I've messed up in little shit, right, each day. And I don't care. I mess up, I make up for it, right? I'll fix it. It's real simple. Just be accountable for yourself, right? I think there are certain people that didn't like how they were, <laughs> how they were looking. Um, but it's, you can't hide it because it's already, it's, it was filmed. You can't hide it. I don't give a shit. There's only so much tape that you can have to show up for who you, who you really are. And I think y'all going to see it. There were no connections for certain people. There were literally like, no, and you know, and it was like, it was just that. And, uh, um, especially on the women's side, right? There was definitely someone who didn't have connections and it is what it is. I don't care. It wasn't me. I left it. I left them alone. Hold on, my dogs. Come on. Where's that boy at? Kobe. Come on. Get in here, boy. 
Sorry. I didn't get my dogs. Uh, but yeah, that's all. Mm, I need to practice English to understand the next one. <laughs> you, <laughs> am I not speaking? What are you? Spanish or something? What do you have? What's your What's your first language? What are those tattoos about? Um, this was a cover up from a first tattoo I had when I was a, I first got out of high school, and then my son's name is Adonis. Um, I got Dragon, and I got Cali and New Orleans down here because that's where I, all my people are from. I got the L.A. Uh, the flirtily, excuse me, the flirtily with the L.A. in it, and then the Superdome and the, the Mardi Gras mask, and my kids' names and my Infinity, and then the Phoenix and then the Dragon. I'm always amazed at cast members because it was beautiful and successful and you find your own connection. Um, I think it's just that, right? Because of you have your time and your energy. Like for me, I'm a little further. I'm probably the furthest away from like everybody that's on the cast as far as the distance is concerned, especially for the, to the city. Um, so it's probably the type of person that I would want would not be where I'm at. Maybe they are, but I haven't. I don't see that. I don't. I don't go out as much. I'm kind of a homebody at the same time too. So, um, so this has given me the opportunity to kind of go out and meet more people and meet new people and do the different things. I will say that I think that was probably a, the biggest surprise that I've I've had on the show was being able to get out and see these different places and different you know food spots and different areas. And um, I've, I've been here 20 plus years and I had never really been out like that. So, hoping the dog was gonna walk through the door. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, I don't do big dogs. Fuck that. I'm sorry. Big dogs lead to big shit, and I don't like cleaning up big shit. Nope. And they eat a lot of food, and I don't want, I don't want a dog that eats a lot of food. So I prefer my little dogs. Um, and then big dogs act, the, act like they're lap dogs, and then I prefer a lap dog if that's the case. These are miniature schnauzers. What's up? What's up? Can we get some questions and answers for the reunion? Uh, you can wait to the reunion and get all the questions and answers. Uh, let's see what else you got here. I'm from the DMV. I feel bad for the cast representing us more. Well, you got to remember, but you, I, I think I'm, I, I get, I've heard this so many times, especially with people from the DC area. Um, Y'all got to remember, like, there are a lot of people that, yes, that grow up in the same area, but there are a lot of people that move to different areas, right? That is not your, – your, your city is just that. It's a mixture. It's a melting pot. So when you have different people – now, I agree you may want to, more people represent where you – that city, but that city is also represented by all the people who are moved – who have moved here. So they're, they're really, like, conforming to the lifestyle of the D.C., the DMV area. So to say that they're not from there and to say they're not representing the D.C. area – I mean, that could be, I feel you, but I also feel the same time. It's like, if we've been here for a, a period of time, we've lived here, we would consider ourselves, like, I'm, I'm 43 years old. I've lived here 21 years. That's half my life. That's a little less than half my life. So you're going to say that I, I, just because I, didn't, I wasn't born and raised here as a child, I'm not considered part of this area? I feel like I'm both. I feel like, why should we have to choose, regardless of where we are, of where we where we are from like i will always rep la always i was always rep new orleans always always right but i'll always rep maryland or dc or virginia in the dmv area if i'm in that area like i said I, i'll just i'll take up for what i say i like it and say what i what's what's dope about it i mean i live here my kids are from here so i'm not doesn't mean i'm not part of it i'm still part of it Uh, me and Phil have been friends for 12 years, um, and uh, we actually, like, we worked together. So <clears throat> me and him actually became, like, really tight after that, after we worked together. And um, I would say probably, like, four or five years after, uh, while we were friends, I actually become, like, my kid's godfather because we, we were just cool. We were dope. We're both Aquarius. Um, we would have, actually have a lot of our parties and stuff together, run our, excuse me, run our birthday. He knows way more people than I do in D.C., um, so I would basically just kind of be tagging along when it comes to that stuff. But like I said, because I don't really don't I really don't go out that much. I don't think I think that the people on the show don't want to rep the DMV. 
Well, I mean, so there was some people who were at the DMV. I think just the D.C. area, right? Um, like I said, if it, it, it's, like you say, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at, right? So, I mean, we're repping for you. I mean, I'm sorry. I, 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 I get what you're saying. It sucks, maybe. I mean, maybe they could find more D.C. people, um, you know, born and raised in D.C., right, or, D, or the DMV. I mean, you got, like, Carmen's from Virginia. I think the kid was from D.C., um, let's see, then you have me, like, you know, then you have people who are prior military who have been all over the place. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I have two kids. I have a boy and a girl. My, my son is 17. My daughter's 11. My uncle lives in D.C. I'll let me see. Could definitely get over there. Oh, I got some questions. In there. You answered one out of <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, were there any favorites and from a production standpoint I don't know you tell me what do you think what do you think do you think there were any favorites can y'all see the favorites no comment I, I'm not going to say anything I'm just going to see if y'all see the comments um, but yeah and I think there's another question here about uh, did you go did you uh, did you do counseling after your divorce? I did counseling prior to my divorce. And I did counseling after my divorce. I'm a big believer in self-help and um, counseling and, you know, trying to figure out things because I feel like you go through stages in your life where you do need guidance. You do need that support. You need somebody to talk to. Um, and I prefer to be a professional, right? I do talk to my friends about certain things, but I do prefer to have a, per a talk to a, to a person who has no but it's a different perspective. Um, so I feel like that's, I'm a big person on, on, on the counseling or just like I said. Yeah. Tommy's cool. Shit. Tommy's cool. I need to get rid of some of these questions on here. Um, All right, I see. I know you were an Aquarius and you have a laid back vibe. So far, and most time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you're a realtor, do you see housing market crashing? <laughs> uh, I'm a realtor. I am not a. a, a uh, well, even though I have a degree in economics, uh, I do not know. We never know when those things are going to hit. I mean, when it comes to like a crash, I don't think it's going to crash by any means. I think it's going to level out. Um, but I think that right now the inflation is not catching up with catching up with um, cost of living. I think cost of living is going to go up, obviously, right? So I think we all need our pay scales are not catching up to our cost of living and the inflation around us. So gas, job, I mean, gas and, and housing is going up, but we're kind of still getting the pay. We're still getting paid the same, right? So you got to work on try to increase that that cash flow. So, 